Into the butthole we go! We have to get across that gap. Ha! Ah. Those pillars on the other side. I'm not sure, but I think you can activate them with a shot from Young Vapor. Well, good thing I'm still packing some heat then. Anyway, hi, we're back. More Absalov, End of Gods. We're on a mission to destroy Loki, save the world. Typical Saturday. Uh, I'll, I'll use this one. Whoa. Nice. All right. Also on our way to reclaim our goddess heritage as hell. Ruler of Helheim. Hey, how you doing, buddy? The boss is back in town. Give me a high five. No? Okay. Won't even greet her, boss. You guys are terrible. I will not be handing out a Christmas bonus. Remember, work smarter, not harder. So says Hell. Ruler of Hell. Uh oh. I think I can. I know how to take care of this. Bring it on! Bring it on! Yeah, what you got now? I just felt like doing that. Scoopsie, oopsie doopsie, oopsie doop, oopsie doopsie. Oopsie poopsie, oh no, okay, I'm, a, I'm running a bit low. There's lots of souls you guys can nom on, right? Yeah, you, yeah, okay, I'll just leave it to it. Okay. Do I have enough for one more shot? You guys are just really annoying. I enjoy getting my revenge. So this is my humble abode, huh? Kinda sucks. Ugh. Whoa. Ho 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 Now, these are some pretty sweet digs. By Odin. It's exactly as in the books. The Temple of the Goddess Hell. What the books say. Odin's heart filled with rage as his son drew his last breath. To bring him back from darkness, he paid his way with death. The gate will remain locked until the one demanding passage can prove themselves. It's unlocked with sacrifices. Sacrifices? What, what type of sacrifices? The Keepers of Helheim. Slaying nine in the chosen hunting grounds close to the temple. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Destroy nine Keepers of Helheim. I've been wiping, I've been wiping the floor with those guys so far. Like, uh... Oh, okay. Can I just be like... Klaatu, Barada, Nikto and... Force my way in? I am kind of in charge here. I am the manager. I would like to speak to myself. Boom. Boom. I mean, with Yarn Gripper... Yeah, I know, I know. But with Yon Gripper, it's hardly a challenge, you know. Five. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Six. 
I mean, I guess it makes sense. We're, we know we're a goddess now, so why would any of this even be a challenge to us? Yeah, we just, we just, you know, wipe the floor with these guys normally anyway. This one will be eight. All I have to do is not miss. Is that one more up there? Yes, it is. Yeah. Quietly. Have you noticed that there's infinitely recharging shrines around here? I'm pretty sure the last thing I need to be is quiet. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like a god, I'm too cheesy. Now let's see what's behind this gosh darn gate. Sorry if I'm kind of rushing it, but I'm really excited to see what happens next. Let's do this. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ruler of hell coming through. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Ooh. There's Yggdrasil. Whoa. Is that me? Is that my final form? I look pretty good. Alright, let's appreciate the moment here. So... I was expecting this to be a lot more, like... I mean, it's been pretty horrific, but... I was expecting it to have more, like, horror tropes. You know, more chase sequences and stuff, but I appreciate it. This is more like... Dark... Gothic horror, rather than like... Typical YouTube... Horror, which I appreciate. I like that. You know, this has been a, a really good experience. It's a really good game. I wish the developers the best of luck in creating a sequel if they so choose. That is, if they leave the story open for that. It's not just like, uh, the gods are like... Ghosty monsters and you gotta they, they, they kill you. I like the fact that there's a bit more depth to the world than the usual horror trope of like the entire universe is out to get you for no real reason. I, I can appreciate that. Because usually a lot of games like this, most, most horror games, let's be honest, horror has had a pretty bad rap ever since like 2012. Yeah, ever since Amnesia and Slender came out, everyone's just been trying to ape those two games forever and ever. And it's good to have one like this that comes along and kind of shakes up the mold a bit. Whoa. Wow. Fascinating. Oh. That's me. Or it should be me. And I like how Henrik- So that's why Loki was all peeved when I chose Odin's symbol at the beginning of the game. He was like, No! You have rejected your heritage. You must die. So that means if I- This is where her journey ended. Daughter of Loki. Ruler of Helheim. Destroyed by the gods as vengeance for the death of Odin's son. Did she really deserve... this? Maybe not. Look. Beside the throne, the light. But if does that mean if I had chosen uh ooh, collectible, if I had chosen Loki's statue, is it possible to choose Loki's cat statue? But does that mean if I had chosen it, would he have like reacted differently? I, I bet that's just like an Easter egg that doesn't really affect much. All right, that's me. Mama's coming home. Your half-god, whose power has been returned to you. 
with the power to draw strength from death. The spirits! Draw power from them. Destroy the lock holding us in this room. And let's get back to Midgard and end the boat. Okay. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet is mine. The upgraded gravity gun. I am inevitable. Your God demands sacrifice. But like, does that mean that I'm also killing the spirits that I'm technically supposed to be watching over? Seems like a bit of a, um, bit of a, a dick move there. Uh, but you know, he said draw power from them. He didn't say like kill them. So I guess I just like, I guess I just like grab them. I'm basically just chucking their souls at other stuff. Pretty much. Back to Midgard. Oh wow. I like how the sight makes it light up. Thank you. <laughs> Your goddess has returned. And now Papa Loki must pay. Oh, what's that? Can I still drop power from this thing? What's that? You guys, you guys want to get in my way? No thanks. Yes, yes indeed they have. More death. More power to the goddess. I like this. Actual progression from like... Powerless to powerful. It's cool. Time for an extermination! The Orkin Man has come home. Uh, it is? Oh. Yes, it is. Give me your power! Give me your power! More death! Oh, they're running away from me now. I like that. <laughs> they can sense when, uh... They can sense when you can't- when you can and can't shoot them. That's so cool. Like, I like that the- I like that they actually run away from you now. This is so cool. Purge. Purge the demon. Now we're Doom Guy. Any others? Anybody else want a piece of me? Anybody else want a piece of the goddess? I'm literally just running around trying to find stuff to kill now. More must die. What an awesome combination. Hello? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, now I can finally kill them. Beef, be at peace, my child. Come give mama a hug. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is so cool. You might have noticed I've just had a smile on my face this entire time. Be free, my child! Back through the butthole we go! Whew. Alright. I'm back and I'm really, really angry. Fire. The atrium alone never stood a chance against Loki. But this combination is surely strong enough to end him. Forever. Can't do anything about that guy. He's part of the environment. Oh great, I gotta go through these guys again.
But how do I get more soul power? Can I get more? There's a lot of backtracking in this part of the game. Oh, come on. Shouldn't I have level 8 access by now? Eh. Eh, oh. <laughs> that poor guy's still alive because he drank the blood and then he got squished by this thing. Oh, sucks to be him. Ah, yes, give me, give me, give me, give me. Do we have to go through this again? Oh my gosh. Wow. It's rather beautiful in its madness. Hey. Is it? What's it like on Midgard? Right. You haven't actually seen the world. Well, it's bleak. Gray cities. Broken countries. I don't think I ever saw a future in Midgard that didn't involve complete destruction. That doesn't sound very appealing. Well, it, it wasn't all bad. Midgard is home. Well, it was home. People mostly toiled to stay alive, but everyone had something to hold on to in order to stay sane. What did you hold on to before all of this happened? Family. I had Sarah and Alice. They were more important to me than anything. Henrik, who is Alice? Alice was our daughter. She fell ill and not even Borkorp could help her. The guild drove me and Sarah further, beyond the sights of humans, to find a cure for her. That's when we found the Absolute, and with it, a voice and the machine. Loki. At first it was a blessing. He helped us cure Alice, and pushed our research and exploration to its peak. We were at the edge of pushing humanity beyond our limitations. Then, he infiltrated our system from within. By the time I realized what he was doing to the staff, it was too late. The last resort was to trigger the emergency protocol and see the entry shaft. What happened to your family? <sighs> Sarah must have died in the initial chaos. I probably knew it at the time. When I heard her voice again, none of that mattered. The look on Alice's face when she heard her mother's voice again. All my suspicions just went away. So I listened to my wife and gathered as many people as I could and sent them out to look for those fucking keys. Alice wanted to help. Like everyone else, she never came back. But I thought I could find her and I could free her. But it was too late. I'm sorry, Henrik. Yeah. Me too. Hmm. Without my obsessive searching, none of this would ever have happened. <sighs> Alas. When it's done, it's done. Now I need your help to fix this. Loki must be annihilated for the sake of everyone and everything in the Nine Worlds. I plead to you. You must destroy Loki. Cool. Alright, mission, go kill a god. Done and done. Did Loki... Why did Loki, like, create us in particular? Because apparently, Henrik sent other people who all died. Why did Loki... bring us back? Okay, okay. The power you are wielding, the powers of my daughter, you wield them. Yep. I am resting my little more dear. You are finally everything I made you to be. Proof that your creation was truly a blessing. Let me see you wield those powers. Sure. I mean... 
I'm here to kill you, but if you really ah, excuse me, if you really want if you really want that, where are you at? Do I go somewhere else? This is where I came in. Okay, I think I actually have to go to the other place, um, in that other airlock. Just like hunt him down through the facility, I guess. Again, really banging music. I would not mind getting the soundtrack to this. So now I guess we just like chase him down. Yeah, there he is. All of them. So am I still doing what he wants? I'm not entirely sure. Uh oh, okay. Got stuck in there for a second. I just gotta keep going. But this is this is a really cool way to oh, this music is so good. It's a really cool way to like go back. You're you're basically going back through the facility where you used to be powerless and now you are a god. And you're just not afraid of any of these creatures. It's really cool. I'm gonna try to turn the brightness up. I kind of want to see this. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, it is a bit dark. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, not for much longer. Oh. Like, am I supposed to destroy all of them? Is that necessary? It probably is. Oh, that's just a bathroom. Ooh, and a collectible. Great. We just keep going back this way. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Back here. I think I go. Oh. to dodge Al uh, Alice <laughs> like Oh, 
Well, well, so am I. Oh. Okay. Simple then. Oh. Uh, uh, can I can I shoot, please? Uh, I'm trying. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta get up closer. I need I need dead souls. Eh. Buddies, <laughs> give me your strength. Lend me your power for my spirit bomb. Oh, that's like the uh, the snake that. Oh, okay. I just blast him. That's like the um, the snake. Oop. It's like the snake that drips a uh, venom into his eyes. Ow! Pretty goofy boss design, though. Okay. Uh, I gotta, I gotta properly blast him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Give me a second. Just let me, let me, one second. Ah, poopy. Oh, come on. One last one. Now his face. End it. Oh, okay, it's a proper boss fight. We gotta do it more than once. Ouch. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Wait, wait, wait! Ow. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really trying to concentrate. That's why I'm not saying much right now. Whoop. Oh, I gotta suck. Gotta give him the big suck. And now I'm gonna blast you. Dude. Uh-oh. 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 I got no cover left. Am I? I'm kind of kicking your ass right now. I think there's just one more eye over here. That's what you think. Nice. I am so proud of you, my dear. You have come so very far. All on your own accord. You are truly my daughter. Slay him! Hell! Kill the bastard! Listen to me. Listen to me. The nine worlds are collapsing as we speak. If I am dead, then there will be nothing to control it. No gods, no kings. Only dying mortal races, clutching for survival in chaos. But I, I know how to control the new, united world. Here, we can make a pact. You and I, to rule together over this new world as father and daughter. Loki is a lunatic. I wouldn't trust that's, him the entire world. That's the Kill him, Hell, and rid us from all of his corruption. It's a bond between gods. It cannot be broken. If you take my hand, then we will equally share this world. That's like the, the standard I'm definitely gonna betray you deal. How? Uh. Oh. It's done. Wow. 
What will happen now? You know, Loki wasn't wrong about the chaos this will bring to the world. <sighs> the Nine Realms will in time grow into one. Loki's plan was a success. But he will not be allowed to rule the new world he created. That alone puts my spirit at rest, I guess. What will happen to everyone? In Midgard? Or, I suppose Midgard isn't a thing anymore. The people will endure great suffering with these changes, but humanity will prevail. We always have. What I want to know is, what are you going to do? Helheim bows to your will now. With the realms united, there will be little stopping you. You could bring order to the chaos now. Perhaps, in due time, the dead will walk among the living. We'll see. In due time. Okay, that's it. Um, great. Amazing. Loved it. That was great. Um... Not quite as a uh, horror as much as I thought it would be, but still really good. Very impressed. Very impressed. Um, don't know if there could be a sequel to this that would if I would follow the same gameplay. Like you're a god now. What is there left? Like the the story is pretty well wrapped up. The nine worlds are becoming one. Uh, the gods are dead except for Hell. Fenrir, <laughs> Albus Dumbledog. So that was Fenrir. I thought it was Garmer. Anyway, um, uh, slaves and spirits. And where, where, what was I talking about? The whole thing is oh, music box from Notes of Obsession. Yeah, there, there are uh, references to other um, games, but uh, like hell, you're a god now. Really, no way you can make another horror game in this in this vein. Uh, Hell will do whatever she wants now that the worlds are united. And, uh, it's gonna be a brand new world. So, it doesn't really seem to be the need for a sequel, even though, obviously, that they've just basically created a whole new, like, story. Father, wake up! The Arsenal has started Fimble Winter, and Helheim has awakened from its slumber. Awaken Odin. And get my hammer. We have to pay a visit to Helheim again. <laughs> so the new game plus, the gods are alive. And now Thor's coming to kick my ass. Alright, great. Um like I said, really good. I guess I guess there is sequel material coming. I hope there is. I would play it. Uh, is there a way to see what happens if you take Loki's hand? It's a bond between gods. Oh, there's the selection for it. Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens. Family first. What have you done? I should never have underestimated my dear daughter. He was a bad influence on you. I'm very proud that you found your footing despite this poisonous whisper. What will happen now? Oh, I have so much to show you, my dear. Very cool. Now, the question is, does that change the text at the end, when, uh, Thor wakes up? Let's see if it does. Although, one thing I like, it wasn't like he immediately betrayed you at the end. He actually was all, like, Oh, yes, yes, I loved you all along, daughter. You're my favorite in the whole world. I didn't mean to try to kill you before. Like, that's a, that's a good twist on the, the, the regular twist ending of, like, Haha, you trusted me, now I kill you. Like, uh, and it's also in character for Loki to be like that trickster dude who wants to, you know, have a have a full have a stack deck, so to speak. 
But uh, let's see if the, uh, the the voices are different. That's either Magni or Modi, by the way, who's one of the sons of Thor. Anything? No, it's the same. Father, wake up! The Absalom has started Fimble Winter, and Helheim has awakened from its slumber. Awaken Odin and get my hammer. We have to pay a visit to Helheim again. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. That's both endings of Absalov End of Gods. There's a new game plus, harder difficulties. Don't know if I'll uh, make a playthrough of that. Maybe there's like a secret ending in the God difficulty. We'll see. Uh, but that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Amazing for an indie studio to make a title that like uh, entertaining all the way through. And uh, hope to see more from these guys. They've done great work before, and uh, this is this is a good capstone on that. But glad you guys watched it with me. For those who did, if you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. And remember, I am, and will remain, your captain. And I will see you on our next voyage. Bye bye.